Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, we're doing another cook along with me. So to be honest, I was just sat down and this recipe popped up in my head. It's not one I've done before and I seem to have all the ingredients that I need. So I thought, let's try it out together and see if it turns out any good. I also just want to say a huge thank you for all the love and support on my most recent video where I talked about how I was scammed on Facebook Marketplace. Honestly, I received the most supportive messages on that video. Everyone was so nice about it and a lot of people also told me how they've been scammed or somebody that they know has been scammed. So. I don't feel like I'm the only one out there getting scammed. Um, so yeah, thank you so much to all of you that did comment on that video and showed your support. So for today's cook with me video, um, I thought I'd make some seat kebab rolls. So basically I'm going to be making some seat kebabs. We're going to make them in the air fryer and then we are going to wrap them up in some puff pastry. So kind of like sausage rolls but not sausage rolls these are seat kebab rolls so yeah we're gonna do it together like i said i've not done it before so it's gonna be my first time doing it as well and i really hope it turns out well because if it does this will be my lunch for today so i've got some minced meat here this is my seat kebab mix i'm not going to be making it from scratch in this video i do have a video on that already so i will link it down below for you guys to watch if you want to see exactly what i added to the mince um but essentially, I'm just going to be forming these into seat kebab shapes. I'm going to cook them in the air fryer. And then we're just going to go ahead, wrap them up, like I said, in some puff pastry back in the air fryer. And we're going to have some delicious seat kebab rolls, hopefully. So let's get straight into it. So I'm just prepping. I'm just going to pop on some gloves to start with because I just feel really funny about touching meat with my bare hands. I don't like the thought of it. So get your gloves on. Um, so yeah, what have you guys been up to? Let's talk about the weather, guys, because I feel like people from the UK, us, we seem to whinge about the weather no matter what the weather. So at the moment, we have got so much rain. Um, it's not very pleasant and that is why my hair is looking the way it is. It's so messy because of the rain. But honestly, I can't be bothered to style it for the video. So you're just going to have to deal with it. Um, but yeah, what is the weather like where you're from? You know what would be nice to know? Comment down below where you are from and what the weather is currently. Just to have a little um, idea of where my viewers are from. So for the seat kebabs, um, I don't know if I mentioned, but I made this yesterday. So it's just leftover mince that I've got. I like to cook my seat kebabs in my Ninja Dual Zone Air Fryer. I find that it's best in there. Um, and yeah, I always make them in there. So first thing I'm gonna do is spray the basket with some spray oil. I've got sunflower oil spray here. Just spray the bottom so that your seat kebabs don't stick. And then I'm just going to wet my hands. Okay, hands are wet. And now I'm just gonna take a medium amount of the mince and I'm literally gonna just start doing this motion in my hands. This is how I make my seat kebabs. A lot of people use a skewer to help them do this, but I find this works fine. Um, like I said, I don't know how these are gonna turn out. I do hope they are nice because the thought of them sounds really delicious, but who knows? Um, and I'm not gonna make the seat kebabs too thin. I feel like because that might cause the seat kebabs and the, the rolls to become quite dry. So we're gonna keep them quite big. And yeah, when you've got a seat kebab kind of shape like this, you just wanna pop it straight into your air fryer. And then I'm just gonna to continue to do that with the rest of my minced meat. So while I'm doing this, guys, I just wanna say I know that um, I've been gone for a few days actually. I've not posted as consistently as I would like to, but I've just had a really busy week. And also I wasn't feeling too well earlier on in the week. I don't know what it was, but I ended up getting the worst migraine and it started first thing in the morning and it literally didn't go away until the very next day. And I don't know where it came from because I don't suffer from headaches or anything like that. 
So yeah, it was awful. So usually when I uh, make seek kebabs, I cook them on the air fry option at 200 degrees for 20 minutes. But I think for um, this recipe, I'm actually going to cook them for a little bit less because I don't want them to be fully done because they're going to go back into, um, I'm going to use my high sapientia air fry oven um, to cook them once they are rolled in the pastry. So I think because they're going to have longer in there, I don't want them to like burn. So I might only cook these for, normally I do 20 minutes. Should I do 10 or 15 minutes? I think I'll just check on it. And when they look like they are almost there, I might just turn it off and let them continue and finish off cooking in my air fry oven. Right, on to our very final one. So I've managed to get five seat kebabs out of the mince that I had left. And they are all different sizes, guys. I, I can't get them to be the same size, but I'm not too bothered about that because they're going to be covered. So yeah, I'm going to pop them all in. Let me just take off my gloves and show you. And then we're going to spray them with some more oil. So they are all in there now. Like I said, they are pretty big, but um, that's how I want them. And then I'm going to spray them quite liberally so that they don't stick. Okay, so I'm going to pop these into my Ninja air fryer now. Um, I'm going to pop them on the air fry option, but I'm going to turn the heat down to 190 and I'm going to pop them in for, let's just say 15 minutes. I'm going to put it on for 15 minutes. I'll check it after 10. We'll see how they're looking um, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, they are now cooking away. So in the meantime, I'm just going to clean up and then we'll come back and we will continue to make them. So the seat kebabs are now done. I actually left them for 15 minutes. I did check after 10 minutes and I just felt like that wasn't enough. So 15 minutes and that is what they're looking like. Like I said, they are gonna to continue to cook in the air fry oven. So just set these aside and then grab your pastry. So I've got this ready rolled puff pastry that I got from Tesco. And I did take it out of the fridge about 10 minutes ago. So you want to make sure you do that. I don't even know if I'm going to end up using the whole thing, but we're just going to see how much we need. Just roll this out on your countertop. This is a little bit sticky. Okay, there we go. So just roll it out. I hate when it tears on one end. Um, I'm just going to change the camera angle so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and then yeah, I guess we're just going to start to make them now. Okay, so I've got my sheet of ready rolled puff pastry. These are the bits that I was talking about. They just literally just um, started tearing. So I'm just going to patch them up, just squeeze them together and it should be fine. So like I said, I think I've got five seat kebabs. So what's the best way to do it? This way or maybe if I turn it this way. Um, seat kebab, roll it. I might be able to get two on one. Right, let me grab the seat kebabs and we'll see. Okay, so here is one of the seat kebabs. So I think I'm just going to pop it there. Yeah, I don't think two will fit. So I think I'm just going to do it like this and see how many we can make out of this. I haven't watched any videos on how to do this either. So I'm literally doing it my way. And then we'll just cut off any excess. So I'm just going to roll it. And then let me just grab a knife. So once you have got it covered, you just want to cut right there. And then we'll just cut this bit here as well. like that and then just seal the bottom with your hands i think i've got a little bit too much on this side should i seal it shut or not i don't think so so we're just going to cut off the excess and then for this bit just to seal the bottom i might just 
take a fork and literally just make sure it's sealed so that it doesn't start opening up. That looks good. So there's our first roll. Oh, that one's closed up a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to pop this on a baking sheet that I've got lined with some parchment paper. Just pop it on there and we'll come back to it when we've done the rest. And now if I wanted, I could make use of this one, but I don't think it's going to fit. Anyway, I do have a little baby one here and that fits perfectly here. So I'm just going to use this. And again, just use a fork. It just makes it so much easier. And then I will just cut off this excess pastry on the end. Okay, I think I've made a little bit of a mistake and that is not letting these seat kebabs cool down because with the ones that I've already rolled, the pastry is not looking great. So I think I need to be really, really quick for the last three that I've got just because I don't want my pastry to fall apart before it even goes into the air fry oven. So I'm just going to whiz through these last three. And just try and do it as quick as possible. I'm actually really enjoying doing these cook along with me because they don't take as long to edit and they're just more relaxed. So I don't know why, but I feel less pressure. So I really enjoy doing these. Don't forget, you can always leave any suggestions down in the description box below. I do always look at my comments. I try to reply to them all if I can. So yeah, if you've got any suggestions, then please do let me know down below. So this is our last one now. We've just sealed it. Okay, so we've got our five kebab rolls. And now I do have an egg that I'm just gonna crack. I'm just gonna beat the egg and then we're gonna brush it over our rolls. I actually forgot steam holes. So I think in each roll, I'm literally going to be um, adding some steam holes, just literally a few holes like that. Just do that with them all. Perfect. And now I'm just going to brush each one with the egg wash. Again, this is just to give it that lovely golden colour. Um, and it gives it a really nice shine as well. Okay, egg wash is now on. Now let's head over to my air fry oven. Okay, they're in the middle shelf and I am going to cook these on, I'm just going to leave it on the preset function, the first one. Temperature, let's turn down to 180. And then for time, I think I'm going to go 15 minutes. But again, I am going to come back around 10 minutes in and just make sure that they're not burning. Okay, they are now cooking away, but I thought why not just make a little um, dip to go with them. So I thought maybe I can make a yogurty, garlicky, minty sauce. So I'm just gonna grab some garlic. I've got some Greek style yogurt here. I'm just gonna make a little bit um, just to dip the rolls into. Okay, so I've got myself a bowl. I'm going to be adding in around two tablespoons of Greek yogurt. I'm then going to be squeezing in, say, a tablespoon of mayo. Then for mint sauce, I've just got this Coleman's mint sauce. I'm going to add around, I've not really got that much left, so let's see. Yeah, so a teaspoon of that straight in. And then finally, this is honestly probably one of the easiest dips you can make. I've got some garlic. I am going to use three cloves. Okay, I've got three cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna peel these, use my garlic press and pop that straight in there as well. Right, so I've got my garlic all peeled. I'm just gonna put it through my garlic press and add all of that in there as well. So here it is. And now I'm just gonna give it a quick mix. And that's literally our easy peasy minty garlic sauce. Looks like that. 
Also guys, shout out to Hi Sapiente. They actually sent me out this lovely apron. It says Hi Sapiente on there, Hi Sap Kitchen. Um, so yeah, this was gifted to me, but I'm not much of an apron wearer, as you can probably tell. I've never worn an apron in my videos, but this looks really nice and thick. So you never know, I might wear it one day, but I can't figure out how the strings work. Look at them. Um, you can tell I don't wear aprons, but honestly, I do like the look of it. I think it looks quite cool, but like I said, I'm not one for wearing aprons, but thank you so much for sending it out. It's really nice of you. Um, I'm sure I can find one of my family members who would happily wear this while cooking. So now we're just waiting for our rolls to be done. And our rolls are done. Look at how good they look. Look at those. I'm so impressed. Let me put them on a really nice platter. And I'll give you a closer look. But they've literally just come out, so they're super hot. But honestly, they look so impressive. I'm really happy with the way they're looking. So yeah, let me pop them on this plate. I'm also going to pop the sauce in a little glass jar thing. Okay, so here they are, all set out on a nice platter. I've got the sauce here as well. Let me give you a closer look. Look at how amazing that looks. So the pastry is fully done, super crispy, cooked at the bottom as well. Now I'm going to try and be careful not to burn my fingers, but I'm going to split this in half. Look at that. Oh my God, they look amazing. So I'm going to dip it into the sauce that we just made. Look at that, guys looks amazing i'm just gonna taste it see if it's actually any good oh my god guys i can confirm that these are absolutely delicious so so tasty the pastry is super flaky as you can see oh it's just so good and do you know what this garlic mint dip it goes so well with them Honestly, I'm super, super happy with the way these have turned out. So if you've got any seat kebabs lying around and you don't want to eat them as they are, wrap them up in some puff pastry and yeah, make these pastry rolls, these seat kebab rolls, because they are delicious. I'm so happy that I made these. So I'm going to go enjoy these now. I really hope you enjoyed this cook along with me. Please let me know down below if you enjoy these. I certainly do. I love filming them. I just feel like they are more relaxed. I can be myself. I can just, like I said, no pressure and just cook and chat and have a little bit of fun. So yeah, I'm really enjoying these. Let me know what you want to see me make next. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Take care and I'll see you really, really soon. Bye.